dear this is the first part of chapter 5 heading life first of all there should be a question in our mind what is light okay simply light is a form of energy which causes sensation to our eyes to see an object basically it is the light which help us to see the object because we know that if the energy cannot be touched or see it can only be feel okay that's why light helps us in seeing an object okay if i am saying that this is a board it means that somewhere from the source light is coming and falling on the board and after reflection it's come to our eyes so we can able to see any object okay dear basically light reflected from any object cause sensation in our eyes to see the object dear i hope you understand light means light is a form of energy which cause sensation to see an object we cannot see light we not able to see our light because light is a form of energy and energy cannot be seen or touched it can only be feel okay dear that's is the light now as we know that light travels in a straight line in a particular medium a medium a substance a matter through which if light enters having same density will always travels in a straight line light always travels in a straight line in a particular medium if there is a no change in density of that medium light will always travel in a straight line this phenomenon is called as rectilinear propagation of light here okay now as we know that when that there is a change in medium means change in density of the medium light will not travel in a straight line it will bend from its original path this bending phenomenon is known as refraction of light it means what is refraction of light dear when light travels from one medium to another medium having difference in densities then light not able to travel in a straight line it change its original path it bends okay this bending phenomenon is known as refraction of light sir i am not getting the visual representation dear suppose that suppose that this is the two media okay there is another media and there was this another media okay let's suppose that this is the medium one and this is the medium two okay let's also suppose that medium two is denser than medium okay it means medium one is rarer okay i am supposing that why it will be how denser why denser it will be discussed in later okay when light falls on the interface of change of media okay change of media when light falls it should always travel in a straight line as you know that light travels in a straight line but this not happen light change its path okay this bending phenomenon is called as refraction of light basically light should have to move on this path okay but it not moves on this path and it bends okay this phenomenon of light is called as refraction of light dear what is the cause of refraction of light okay the speed of light in different media is different okay that's why that's why this is the basic cause 
because when light travels from one media to another media having different density, their speed of light decreases. If it is a denser media, it will decrease. It. If it is a rarer media, it will increase. It. On this phenomenon means that when light passing from one media to another media, the speed of light changes. This causes the bending of light, and this phenomenon is called as refraction. Means the refraction is caused due to change in the speed of light when passing from the one media to another media. Here, the ray of light always chooses a path which takes the shortest time to cover a particular distance. Dear, understand what it means. Dear, as M2, I have considered M2 is a denser medium. So, light enter on the interface into M2 the speed of light will decrease here. Okay. Due to this decrease of light, this path will be covered by light in longer time. To decrease its time, it's made the path which is shortest. Okay. This is the statement which is explaining it. It means, what is the cause of refraction? The cause of refraction is the change of the speed of light when passing from one media to another and the second light takes the shortest path shortest time to cover a particular distance okay this is the main cause of refraction of light okay dear i hope you understand refraction means now i am coming to terminology related to refraction dear Terminology related to refraction. Okay. Do you understand? As I have mentioned, M1 is a rarer medium, M2 is a denser medium. When light passes from rarer medium to denser medium, it is Then light bends. Okay. Why it bends? It is the cause of refraction. Now coming to the terminology. Interface. Interface separates the two media. Here, here is the interface which is just separating the medium 1 and medium 2. It's called an interface of the media. Do you understand here? I hope the separation boundary of media is called an interface. Okay, dear. Now, the light coming from a source or from a body, you may say that after reflection from an object and falling on the interface is called an incident ray. Okay, what is incident ray? The incident ray is a light ray, a ray of light which is coming from an object or a source. Do you understand? And falling on the interface of the media. Okay. Refracted ray. Refracted ray. Dear, the bended light after passing from one media to another media. It's dead media to refracted media. The light ray, the bended light ray is called as refracted ray. This is called incident ray. This will be called as refracted ray. Okay, dear? Okay, dear? Now, point of incidence. The incident ray fall on the interface at a particular point is called as point of incidence. This is called point of incidence. Here, this is called point of incidence. Okay? Normal. When you draw a perpendicular at the point of incidence, at the point of incidence, on the 
interface is called as normal here normal is a perpendicular line on the interface at the point of incidence at the point of incidence so i hope you understand normal take take a repeat version normal is a perpendicular line on the interface on the interface of two media y at a point of incidence i hope you understand means should be made 90 degree with the with the interface okay this is called normal angle of incidence we understand angle between normal and incident ray is called as angle of incidence angle of incidence angle between incident ray and normal it's called as angle of incidence i hope you understand here it means when incident ray move towards the normal angle of incidence will decrease when incident ray moves away from the normal it means that angle of incidence will increase i hope you understand here angle of refraction we are understand angle between refracted ray angle between refracted ray and normal is called as angle of refraction it's called as angle of refraction okay angle of refraction i am repeating it angle between refracted ray and normal refracted ray and normal is called as angle of refraction okay now i am coming to angle of deviation understand me this is the original path and this is the incident ray this is the normal this whole angle is called as angle of incidence vertically opposite it is it will be equal to angle of incidence dear understand this angle is called as angle of deviation by what amount of angle the refracted ray bend from its original path by what amount of angle refracted ray bends from its original path is called as angle of deviation how we find angle of deviation angle of deviation is equal to we understand angle of deviation is equal to angle of incidence minus angle of refraction okay angle of incidence minus angle of refraction then you will find able to find the angle of deviation i hope you understand here so this is how we have completed the what terminology related to the refraction now i am coming to optically denser and optically rarer medium as we know that the student the speed of light in a particular medium that is vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 10 is to 10 raised to 8 meter per second okay this is the speed of light in vacuum but dear when light enters into a denser medium its speed decreases means a uh, medium as matter or uh, optically <coughs> denser medium is that matter which have high density okay which have high density here in which when light enters the speed decreases that medium is called as optically denser medium okay but when light enters in a particular medium and its speed increases its speed increases it means that dear <coughs> that medium is what a rarer medium i hope you understand optically denser and optically rarer medium okay dear now come to the way of refraction there is a three condition what happens after refraction to a refracted ray what happens after refraction to a refracted ray there is a three
different condition. It depends on the angle of incidence here. And medium. Okay. Let's suppose that first case when light travels from rarer medium to denser medium. When light travels from rarer medium to denser medium. We are understand. When light travels from rarer medium, it is a rarer medium, medium one, medium two, denser medium. Means density of medium two is greater than density of medium one. When light travels from rarer medium to denser medium, it changes its original path. A bends towards the normal. Here, it bends towards the normal. Here, understand? I hope you understand. It bends towards the normal. Okay. Means, what is the condition? Understand? If there is a two medium, an incident media is a rarer medium, and the another media, second M two media, is a denser media. Means light is passing from rarer to denser medium. Light bends towards normal. Okay. Due to decrease in speed, this particular distance covered by light will have to if this if light will pass through this path will take longer time to make it shorter. It bends towards the normal and cover the distance. Okay, dear. So what you have to remember. Just when light passes from rarer medium to denser medium, it bends towards the normal. Okay. Second case. When light passes from denser to rarer, let's suppose that this is a water, this is a denser medium, and this is a air. Let's suppose that this is water and this is a air. Okay, dear. So air is a rarer medium. Why water is a denser medium? As light passes from water to okay, so it goes like this. Okay, it is the original path. So light will not go on this path. Light will bend. Okay, from its original path, and it becomes away from the normal. Away from the normal. Okay, dear. Away from the normal, it becomes towards the normal. Okay, dear. So in this case, angle of refraction is less than angle of incidence. Okay. Why in this case, angle of refraction is greater than angle of incidence? I hope you understand, dear. When light passes from denser medium to rarer medium it bends away from the normal when light passes from rarer to denser medium it bends towards the normal in this case angle of refraction is less than angle of incidence in this case angle of refraction is greater than angle of incidence do you understand yet i hope you understand okay now i am coming to the next point that is what happen if angle of incidence is zero angle of incidence is zero means we are, as we know that angle of incidence is a angle between normal and incident angle between normal and incident okay dear this is called angle of incidence So, if we call a light incident ray on the normal, on the normal means making ninety degree to the interface. Okay, this is the incident incident ray. Okay, what happen? Light will pass directly without bending. Okay, because angle of incidence is zero, so angle of refraction will be also zero. Angle of incidence is zero, so angle of refraction will be also zero to make it constant. 
I will talk in, on it later when we talk about laws of refraction here. I hope you understand this terminology, this topic. In the next class, we will talk about the laws of refraction. Okay, dear, by having any doubt, please ask. Feel free to ask during the Google Meet or Google Classroom. Okay.